I spotted a bear. So, um... I think we could try a... a rather long shot. Just to test the rifle. Um, it still is a little bit very long, that shot. So I try to sneak a little bit closer. Just have to be very careful. The black bear has very good eyesight. really reacts on movement. Ah, he seems to be moving away from us now. Right behind that tree. Quite unfortunate. Let's look on the map. Okay, we're still quite quite a distance away from the bear bite barrel. And just now the scent eliminator wore off, so I will put on some more because that's quite crucial when hunting black bear that's for sure let's try to creep closer quite a difficult situation now because here right there is that edge of that little hill there so I hope he won't uh, win this before we get a chance to put eyes on him that's something you don't want when um, tracking or uh, when you went just um, stalking a bear you don't want to stalk him uphill there he is it's a female again so Let's not waste any time. <laughs> awesome. This is awesome. I love this weapon already, that's for sure. Oh, sorry guys, that's my that's my phone. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's harvest our price. Uh, sorry for the interruption there. Ok, 
Okay, so let's check this out. Front leg, right lung and liver. 14.685. So uh, as we can clearly say, it uh, really does a lot of damage. <laughs> this is just uh, really nice for bear and elk, uh, bear, elk and moose hunting. Also for the red stack, I think that would be a, uh, this would be a, a really a really nice rifle to hunt red stack with. So nice, we also already got one moose, a really nice one by the way, um, and two black bears. So let's continue and um, we'll just see um, if we are lucky enough and get close to a black bear at the bear bite barrel. We might also take one with the Parker Python compound bow. Um, because I think it would be interesting to uh, to also shoot a bear with the bow. So we will we'll just see how that goes and um, I'll be back whenever something happens. Okay guys, we are getting close to the bear bite barrel and um, just came to my mind of course also for hawks and wild boars the the new rifle will be awesome to use. We all know how tough these animals are and um, to have a rifle... Oh nice! We got some elk action. Um, I brought the tripod with me, so I think I'm just gonna set that up. Um, well, there's lots of trees, but I think we can't help it. So let's call them in. Or oh, he's right answering. That's good. Um, so far, it's only one, but of course, with elk, you never know. Um, they like to roam in herds. That's for sure. Um, you also you do find um, single animals as well roaming uh, alone but most of the time they are in herds uh, sometimes uh, gender mixed sometimes only male herds or female herds so that's always interesting and um, yeah it's a uh, we are right in the forest here so um there's a lot of trees in front of us but i think we will spot them or that one that we heard if he decides to check out our calling and he is oh that's a really small one so um I think it's worth uh, worth to just wait a little bit longer. And I think he's not alone. I just saw something behind him. Oh no, actually not. Um, the calling was him again. 
So maybe he's just on his own. But we will just wait a little bit longer. So let's always keep an eye in every direction. Because sometimes you, you can be really surprised what's what's sneaking up on you. Okay, but it doesn't look like he is in any company. No. There he's calling. So you can see he's directly interacting with us. Um, that's like for moose, elk, and um, also red stag. They answer directly to your calling. And also the pheasant is answering. I think maybe the roe deer also. I'm not sure about that. Um, about the pigs, I am also not so sure. But at least the other um, deer species, they do not directly answer. So, um, for elk and moose and red stag, it's sometimes really worth it to, to just uh, give it a try and call. And if there's one around, um, he might answer. And also, the more by the way there is the barrel um, the more um, often or directly the animal answers your call um, the smaller it usually is I like the score of it because the really big ones with the big racks um, they are very shy, so to speak. Um, they do not answer as frequently as the smaller ones. Um, so with that, it's simulated that the older, wow, that the older and um, bigger animals are smarter and do not give away their position as much as, as uh, the smaller ones do. So I'm just kind of waiting until he is deciding to move out that thick stuff there. Because I want a clear shot at him. Well, actually, I want to use the rifle. Oh, guys, there's a black bear. <laughs> so, that's a change of plans, because... Um, see, he's answering directly. So, um... If I wouldn't see him now and already know that he's a small one, I, I could tell it by him always directly answering my calls. So the, the plan change is now to take to take this um, elk with a uh, with an arrow with the bow. 
so let's um, equip the rangefinder which is very crucial for bow hunting he's at 30 meters I would like I would actually like to have him a little bit closer than that. And let's try to drop him with a hard shot. I mean that's easier said than done. But it would be helping a lot to not spook that bear. So let's really hope we can pull it off. No. Now I'm checking if the bear is still in the area. Yes, he is. So what should we do here now, guys? Should we go for a rifle shot? It's a male. I think we should because this video is about the rifle. <laughs> And it's it's so much fun to shoot it. Let's look at the at the blood trail. Well, that actually looks like intestine. That's my guess. Okay, guys, I think we get a clear shot. Um, I actually want to have a more steady aim. Well, that's not really possible. Since we uh, just shoot that rifle for the first time today, uh, of course our skill level is uh, still at 1, so the, the wobble is still still a lot. Um, that's also a topic that is um, kind of interesting, um, because I mean, this is just the, the same, actually it's the same stock as the um, 8x57 um, Anschutz. So I r kind of don't get the point why leveling this weapon should be also starting from level 1. Um, but I actually also do not have a problem with that because um yeah i mean that's just how the game works of course um if you have a if you can shoot the um caliber 300 um bolt action rifle you kind of should be able to also shoot then the unshoots <laughs> um you know, with a steady aim, but this is how the the game works. Um, there have been quite interesting suggestions about um, how to improve that system um, by connecting the skill level to uh, to rifles in general, and to pistols in general, and to bows in general. So that would be a, a pretty nice concept which I would really like to see in the hunter but that's just my opinion so the bear is now here again at the barrel um, hmm. it's a little bit hard to get a clear shot at him 
So let me go down one more time. Because there's a lot of these timber tree trunks here all the way. He's just having a, a meal. Okay, let's see. If he stops right there, it would be perfect. Okay, he's turning around again. Okay, stop. behind the tree. Just let's be patient. He is loving the bite. Enjoy, my friend. That's too risky. I want to wait until he turns around again and walks into that open. Okay, now we have to hope he's going to stop in the right position. Not this time. Ah, oh, come on! As you can see, the, the gun wobble is quite heavy. Okay, stop. Mm. He's always stopping when he has cover. Smart guy. He ran, but I think we, or well, I hope we had a hit. Yeah, I think he went down just over there. Yes, that looks good. Yes! <laughs> Whew. And it starts raining. So let's first add some bite. because I think he ate quite a lot of it. <laughs> lung heart, so I, I think we got a lung shot there. Which is perfect. Okay, let's check him out. Yeah, 
yes as you can see the placement is just right just where it is supposed to be behind just a little bit behind that shoulder blade and we actually also hit the shoulder blade a little bit and also the right lung so that's perfect and the score is I think my personal best if I'm not wrong 20.788 really nice yes so um, this hunt was really successful um, we got a super nice moose Uh, 193 moose which is just awesome and um, now we got this 20 scoring bear so of course I want to have a good picture that looks kind of weird come on well. Also, this system could be improved, <laughs> actually. Okay, that looks so weird here. Sorry, guys, for taking my time here. Um, I, I would like to, to, to know what you guys think about that new Anschutz rifle we got here and um, if you guys think um, it's worth buying it uh, I definitely do not regret uh, buying it um, I'm having a lot of fun using it that's for sure and um, Yes, with this nice trophy black bear, I think um, we can call it a day. Well, I forgot something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we have still our um, elk. And uh, we pulled off a lung shot, it seems, which is really great. So yes, I'm a little bit, um, I was a little bit confused today, I think. Um, it's also early in the morning here, so, um, yeah, and I'm, s uh, I was just super excited about this new rifle and, um, couldn't, couldn't wait to start using it. And here we go. 117.951 shoulder blade and right lung so um, that was quite a nice shot um, I think if we had shot this one from a further distance um, it wouldn't have had enough energy to go all the way through the shoulder blade so uh, I'm happy with this. Um, I think they fixed the penetration of the arrows a little bit also with that um, improved hard, shot, hard shots um, they have now. So yes, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that so far and um, now for real. <laughs> um, thanks for watching and um, happy hunting to you.